This is 1912s Lincoln and an MS65 red and brown condition. CAC proven superb gem. According to NGC, with its very low mintage for a 20th century scent, 1912s is scarce in all grades and genuinely rare in fully red gem condition. Examples in the higher circulated grades of VFAU are seldom seen, and most pieces in lower grades are marred by damage or corrosion. As far back as the late 1930s, collectors were already reporting great difficulty in finding this issue in circulation. Well-struck 1912s scents may be found within the surviving mint state population, as the example illustrated clearly reveals. The reverse is more likely to show heavy dye erosion, as these undated dyes were used in succeeding years until they failed. This MS-65 red and brown specimen fetched a sum of $1,200 on September 6, 2023. Number 15. Here is 1965 Roosevelt dime with major cut die break on obverse. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. According to Stax Powers, an immense cut covers the nearly half of the obverse from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock with a small central area incomplete while the corresponding area of the reverse remains unstruck. Though minor cuts can frequently be found in circulation, visually impressive examples such as this are quite a bit more difficult to locate and frequently find themselves in the collections of error enthusiasts. This is one of the most dramatic die failures of the entire series, and it ended up selling for $1,410. Number 14. This is 1954 Washington Quarter struck on a nickel planchet. Graded in mint state 60 by Annex. Deep steel gray with lightly striated toning. Some luster remains. An error that would be easy to overlook in commerce, for its similarity in size and appearance to a normal quarter. However, this one was fortunately captured and saved. It fetched a sum of $1,762.50. Number 13. Here is 1962 Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 67. NGC assigned full torch and star designation for excellent strike and surface preservation most likely. Dimes of the early 1960s were routinely hoarded by the BU roll and bag but many of these were moved frequently between owners until attaining enough value as singles to merit grading and encapsulation. The result is a very common issue that may be a bit tough to locate an MS-67, though there seems to be a higher than usual percentage of full torch examples for a Philadelphia dime. Some pieces may be semi-proof like, since the mint used dies that were not no longer fit for proof coinage to strike currency pieces. This one ended up selling for $1,997.50. Number 12. Here is 1977 Jefferson Nickel Overstruck on a 1977 Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. Intensely brilliant and fully lustrous surfaces exhibit excellent high appeal. Here is the ideal 15 cents error combining two denominations, both of which are plainly visible on the coin. The Jefferson Nickel imprint and the Roosevelt Dime impression are aligned almost exactly 180 degrees from each other, first you see Jefferson. Then when you turn the coin 180 degrees you are looking at Roosevelt. It was bargained for $2,820. Number 11. Moving on with this 1946 D. Washington quarter struck on a dime planchet. Graded in mint state 61 by Annex. Highly lustrous with deep rose and golden brown toning. Very fortuitous centering for such an error, with the date and mint mark on the flan. Such wrong planchet errors are always visually dramatic and desirable. It fetched a sum of $2,937.50. Number 10. Here is 1992 Close AM Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 62 Red by PCGS. An enticing fully red example of this highly elusive hub variety in the modern Lincoln Cent series. Satiny and bright, both sides exhibit vivid rose red color throughout fully struck and uncommonly smooth for the assigned numeric grade. This is a rare variety in all grades that was created when the Philadelphia Mint inadvertently used the reverse hub intended for regular issue circulation strike production beginning in 1993 for a single 1992 dated die pairing. To identify a 1992 close AM Lincoln scent, look for the following features, the A and M in America are almost touching. The FG initials on the reverse side are further away from the memorial's base. This elusive specimen fetched a sum of $2,640 at auction. Number 9. 
This is 1950 Franklin half dollar in PR67 condition. According to NGC, after an eight-year hiatus, proof coin sales finally resumed in 1950. The hobby had grown considerably during that time, and sales were bound to be much higher than in 1942. A new twist was that buyers could order only complete, five coin sets, rather than selecting a desired quantity by denomination. The packaging remained similar, each coin sealed inside a flexible plastic sleeve, these then stapled together into complete sets that fit within a square, cardboard box. As it had in 1936, the technique of coining brilliant proofs had to be relearned this year. The early emissions were more satiny than brilliant, but with a beauty all their own. Collectors, however, wanted coins with fully polished fields, and the proof half dollars of 1950 come both ways. Examples having cameo contrast, with frosted devices set against brilliant fields, form a minority of this coinage. This PR67 specimen was sold for $2,880. Number 8. Here is 1990 Lincoln Cent with Missing Mint Mark S graded as PR69 Red Ultra Cameo by NGC. This bright pink specimen is as struck with virtually pristine surfaces. Boldly cameoed in finish, as befits the assigned grade, with outstanding visual appeal. This is one of the most popular no S mint errors from the modern United States Mint. It was sold for $3,840. Number 7. This is 1944 P. Jefferson nickel struck on a standard nickel planchet. Graded as very fine 35 by PCGS. A truly neat item by any standards. In late 1942 the use of copper nickel planchets for the circulating 5 cent pieces was discontinued and replaced by a copper silver manganese amalgam that would remain for the duration of the war. In 1946 the copper nickel standard was once again in play for the denomination. No doubt a leftover copper nickel planchet or more perhaps of the 1938 to 1942 era was on hand at the mint and somehow found its way into the hopper of silver wartime nickels. From there it entered circulation where it must have stayed for years before an eagle-eyed collector spotted it for the anomaly that it was and kept it in a collection where it avoided more wear and tear. It ended up selling for $5,875. Number 6. A dramatically double-struck 1919 Buffalo Nickel. Graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS. A visually dramatic and consequently extremely rare mint error in a Buffalo Nickel. The second strike is off-center at 1 o'clock, but it is located at approximately the 6 o'clock position relative to the first impression. The result is that both sides display partial designs that are nearly upside down relative to each other. The only date visible is that from the second strike, and all design elements that are present are sharply defined and clear. It was sold for $15,275. Number 5. Here is 1948S Jefferson Nickel in MS67 Plus condition with full steps. Full steps refers to the steps on the base of Monticello on the reverse of the coin. A coin is considered to have full steps if there are at least 5 complete steps visible with no nicks, cuts, abrasions, or weakness to interrupt the step count. Blended pastel tints in shades of gold, rose, and pale blue grace both sides of this high-end gem. Sharply detailed with outstanding eye appeal it ended up selling for $12,000. Number 4. This is 1944 Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark D over S graded in mint state 66 plus read by PCGS and approved by CAC. Scarce and desirable Lincoln scent variety. This is a strong over mint mark. The secondary S is evident clearly protruding from the top of the D. It ended up selling for $13,500. Number 3. This is 1918 D Lincoln scent in MS66 red condition. Very tough date in full red, this piece absolutely glows with a light lavender highlight. An absolutely beautiful piece with immaculate fields. This outstanding gem ended up selling for $17,500. Number 2. Moving on with this 1957 Franklin half dollar in PR69 deep cameo condition. In coin grading, cameo is the amount of contrast between the relief, raised or recessed design, and field, background. A deep cameo coin is a proof coin that has a very strong contrast between the frosted relief and the mirror-like field. The contrast is so great that the coin appears to be black and white. According to David Lawrence Auctions, a fantastic piece for the advanced registry collector with virtually flawless, 
glassy mirrors that provide sharp contrast against frosty, sharply rendered design elements. Completely untoned with incredible eye appeal. It was sold for $36,000. Number 1. And this is uninspiring 1955 penny with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 65 plus read by PCGS and further proven by CAC. Doubling on all obverse letterings and the date included. This is a breathtakingly beautiful, conditionally rare example of perhaps the most popular of all Lincoln scent varieties. Bathed in a blend of medium orange and pale rose colors, the surfaces are fully lustrous with a soft satin finish. The dyes imparted sharp to full definition throughout the design. The all-important obverse doubling readily evident to the naked eye. Generally pristine, a few extremely faint and easily overlooked carbon flecks are all that seem to preclude an even higher grade. It ended up selling for $114,000 at Stax Bowers Auctions. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.